What's up, guys? My name is Kevin Berkey. I'm part of the Born Again Bow Hunting crew here in Ohio. This is my Indiana public land deer, and this is my Venatic story. Dude, he's a good one. Listen to this shot, though. So growing up, we really didn't have camp life as far as deer camp goes. And a number of years ago, the Simon Brothers Outdoor invited us to Indiana to hunt public land and join camp with them. And after experiencing the, the fires, the storytelling, the dinners together, and then the hunting on top of that, it's just one of those things that we can't go without anymore. Um, it is quickly becoming our annual trip there and you know a must-have of deer season for us so after multiple years of hunting it running cameras there and making um, out of season scouting trips we kind of knew the area that we like to hunt and what the deer preferred in these different areas so this year um, was a little bit different the deer just didn't seem to be in the spots where we had hunted prior and the sign wasn't there so we weren't going to hunt where there's no sign and no deer activity so we had a couple spots on the map that we had never been to um, but looked good from a map that were different enough but yet the same as far as terrain features and stuff we were comfortable hunting and that we had known that the deer had been using in the past so spot a we got there and there was a couple trucks in the parking lot and spot B, we got there and there was, again, more trucks in the parking lot. So being who we are, we did not want to step on anybody's toes. We um, went to spot C, which was kind of a wild card. We get there right at daylight, get out of the truck, go to this spot, and two of the other guys branch off and go up to a different spot. And we have no cell phone service here. So we both make a plan of, hey, let's be back at the truck by 10 o'clock. All right, guys, this is like plan D for the morning. Waited till daylight to get in. We're gonna hike in. There's some standing crops up on top. Kind of this big valley here. Still hunt our way in. Set up on good sign if we find any. Got a camera if need be. I don't know, it looks pretty good on a map, but we just wanted to wait till daylight to walk in and see what's going on. So. As I'm walking into the spot I want to go to, I am walking up this big drainage, and right before the bench or the shelf comes across, I start to go up the finger and bump a couple does, and it is just absolutely raining acorns in this small area. Good place, good acorns up in through here, and it's pretty flat right here. So I'm gonna get up in this tree The squirrels are down and everywhere. I'm gonna get up in this tree. I did bounce two or three does from this spot, so they uh, just kind of bounded off. They didn't really know what I was. There's a lot of leaf, a lot of leaf cover, so I wasn't too worried about it. So my wind's perfect. I got a north wind that's gonna be pushing down. My thermals are still pulling down, so I might get up in this tree, get set up hunt for a few hours. Get three sticks high. I'm in my Venatic saddle from Trophy Line and, you know, set up for the morning. Looks like an awesome spot and I'm ready for go time. Right before, I guess that 10 o'clock mark where I wanna go do a little bit, a quick loop up around this top to see kind of what's going on. So I start to pack my gear. I um, pack my main camera in my bag, my camera arm in my bag and I just give the area one last kind of look over and something catches my eye coming up the drainage over here to my right. So I know for sure I do not have any time to get my camera out. So I'm just glassing it with my binos. There's a big old buck coming in and I, I just put down my other stuff. I just put away my other camera. Oh, 
And as he is working my way, um, I start to range him and kind of play out in my mind, okay, he's either going to come down in front of me or stay up high and then go up the finger up to the top where I wanted to go scout earlier. He ends up coming to 30 yards and it, it looks like he is going to turn and go up the ridge top. So all I have at this point in time is a frontal shot. So I'm not afraid to give it a try because I've done a lot of shooting over the summer and my confidence is super high with my ability. And I know that I can make that 30 yard shot, no problem. Shot breaks clean. You can tell it hits him hard because he spins around, takes off running, um, goes down through the valley, makes oh, a left man. to go up the drainage, oh, and at this man. point in time, I can't see him anymore. Dude, I can't even look. Oh, I didn't get a ton of penetration. Yeah. I just hit one. Huh? I just hit a good buck. You just shot a good buck? Yeah, I didn't get good penetration though. So I was getting ready to pack down and I put my big camera down in my pack and I just glanced up. Dude, he came right into 30 yards. I think black and then bumped him, but I, I don't. What you, where'd you hit him? High somewhere, I think in the net. He was facing me. I think it hit him a little high in the neck. I'm, I'm just, I'm going to go look for blood at the shot and then I'm just, I'm going to call Black and tell him to back out, I think. Yeah, just take your time. Yeah. This point in time in the tree, oh. I'm just absolutely oh, shaking like a leaf. Um, so I hang my bow up, I get enough composure together and stop shaking where I can climb down and walk over to where the shot happened to pick up on some blood. And there's some blood right there at the, the shot and I just trailed it for a little bit just to kind of see kind of what the blood looked like. So do that and I just back out, um, grab all my stuff, go back to the truck where the other guys are waiting, which, you know, at this point in time, it was a little bit later than 10 o'clock because of what had happened and um, had a leaf with some blood on it to show the guys back at camp. So I kind of tell them the brief story, but I'm like, I'm not going to tell you everything until we get back to camp with the other guys. So we get back to camp. Um, at this point in time, I have enough cell service where I can send out a text message to the rest of the born again guys. And they finish their hunt, come back to camp, kind of talk about what had happened and show them the leaf. So at this point in time, there has been um, plenty of hours for them to sit there. We go back to where the shot had happened and uh, we start to trail the blood and kind of go down through this drainage and, and weave through there. And then all of a sudden we kind of come around this bend in there and he's just piled up there on a log. Oh, he's right there, boys. He's right there, Kevin. Let's go, baby. He didn't go very oh, far at all. Oh Let's go. Deer down in camp, baby. Deer down in camp. Hey. Matt, give me some, baby. Deer down in camp, baby. That's a beautiful deer. Take him down. Someone tackle him. Kelly! <laughs> That's a stun, baby. <laughs> That's a tank, Kevin! <laughs> <Shoo>! <laughs> boy. I'm so happy. Dude, look at that thing! Is the arrow still in it? No, it broke off right there, but oh. the other half's in him somewhere. Coming up. Oh man, all oh, that. He was oh, just man. shredding yeah, don't, trees. Don't this mess morning. up them oh. bases, yeah. Spin around and talk right there, like get behind him. So he was facing, he was facing me and I was aiming for here. And we kind of came to the conclusion that he ducked because I ended up hitting him here on the face. 
So I went back to camp and shot my bow some, and it was hitting, would you say, Black, would you say it was like three, three and a half inches high yeah, at 30 three yards? Three inches high. So with that, and then him potentially duck with. Well, we with, don't know what happened without it being on camera. Yeah, I have no idea. I'm, I'm it sure he so fast. ducked and spun and it just caught it. Yeah. So I'm not happy about the shot, but hey, I am extremely happy with the deer. And honestly, this is my probably my favorite part of the whole experience was just the the celebration and everybody hooping and hollering and, and high fives and hugs at this point in time. Um, you know, cameras are rolling and it's just raw emotion. You know, it's just a really good time. Yeah, that is my, I guess, Indiana public land deer and. This year I was blessed enough to shoot two, both in Ohio and Indiana, for a total of 279 inches of bone.